getting to that time of year now where I need to, you know, dig into my backlog, look at albums that I should have got to earlier in the year, and this is one of those releases from Hayley Heinderix or Heinderix? She's an acoustic uh, singer-songwriter, folk singer, who I don't know much about, honestly, but I would highly recommend this album because this is actually really, really nice. I Need to Start a Garden is a very warm and melancholic release that is very introspective with the lyrics. Hayley is a really good songwriter from uh, from the get-go, actually. Like, I'm not entirely sure she has that many projects. I believe this is her first studio album. But for her first studio album, she's really showing that she has some really well-crafted poetry. So many of these tracks have great hidden metaphors when you read into them, um, especially like tracks like The Book Collector, which is essentially a track where she's talking about how these bugs are sort of, you know, making their way into your mind and infesting your headspace. The centipede, the prey mantis, the uh, millipede, all representing different parts of your inner demons, if you will. And from the perspective of the narrator on this uh, particular track, um, I'm not sure if it's from her perspective or from someone else's perspective, but basically they're saying that they will do what they can to sort of get rid of these uh, insects, these demons, and be there supporting that person, which is actually a really nice sentiment when you think about it. It's a very wholesome and very caring track, which I really appreciate uh, heavily, just the way that it, you know, takes takes the pressure off of that person and it's like hey i'm gonna i'm gonna be there for you this is this is what i'm gonna do just leaves a nice taste in my mouth thinking that Haley already you know is giving these really nice tracks and um you know supportive outlook in the way she creates her music not completely unique in the world of music but i would say that it's actually quite different right now um in terms of other contemporaries around, the way she writes her songs, I would put her in a different lane. I like on the track uh, Um Shalala as well, where she talks about how she needs to start a garden and how she needs to get rid of all of the, the molding crap, you know, everything that's going off um, just needs to leave and she just needs to create this new area, this fresh area with blooming flowers and all that kind of stuff. It might sound a little bit corny the way I'm selling you, but you know, I, I, I'm not selling the track the way she writes the song, basically. It, trust me, it's a really well written track. And to top off the great lyricism, you know, these are just well-crafted tracks. These are lovely, you know, melodies, these uh, textures within the guitar tones are just so well made that it's just such a lovely experience and her voice as well her voice just has this really nice ambient tone to it this kind of music can often go two ways where it can be really bland and uninteresting or it can be like this where you're just really gripped by everything that's going on and you know you're kind of uh, stuck in this little world of what the singer is singing about, even if you're not always fully grasping or fully understanding the metaphors or the lyrics and that kind of stuff. I also really like the track uh, Worth It. It's a really lengthy one at like eight minutes long, but uh, it certainly uh, deserves the run time that it has. Again, I really like the lyrics here where she's talking about being on the coastline and like, you know, she's talking to a boy, I believe, and you know, she's saying like, you know, put me in a line, put me in a box, and I'm sort of like interpreting it, it as, you know, put me in a box and just throw me out to sea. I, 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 I've clearly fucked up, just do it. Just put me in this box and throw me out there for me to be gone forever, which is actually a really dark sentiment when you, uh, when you say it like that. Uh, oh, fuck. Yeah. Really just, she just has a great way of words across this entire album. It's only like 30 minutes too, so it's not really an album that overstays its welcome or anything. I wouldn't say I'm quite loving it, but I'm really, really liking it, and perhaps it'll at least get an honourable mention before the year is over, or at the, at the end of the year and year and list season and that kind of thing. I'm gonna go 7.5 out of 10. I think this is really good. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. It did come out in like March, so perhaps a lot of you have already heard it, so if you have, let me know what you think. Subscribe, comment, have a good day.